Today is a very sad day for me and for the Force Asia community. Our friend and developer Arif Jama is no longer with us. He passed away this morning in Alika, India. We heard from his friend that the oxygen cylinder did not arrive in time. Yesterday, we had a project call. We discussed his condition. Everyone was hoping that he would he would be healthy in a few days and come back to us. I trusted with him last time on the 22nd of April when we tried to debug an issue together. Arif contributed significantly to Force Asia and the open source community. He mentored hundreds of junior students voluntarily. He did not care about recognition. He just wanted to share his knowledge with the others. He was one of the most talented developers that I have ever met and a very humble person. He was always reliable, delivered what he's promised. Whenever I opened an issue, within hours I already saw his update on the status of, of the issue. He, he worked very hard and never, never complained. He really enjoyed his job from what I could see. I liked um, the way how, how he explained things to us. Whenever I participate in his workshop or listen to his presentation, I was very proud that he was with us. He was our project maintainer. Life is really too short. What happened to Ari today reminded me how privileged I am compared to friends and colleagues who are living in India and other more unfortunate regions. I will work harder to foster more exchange and collaboration. Only by working together, we can solve a bigger problem. That was also what Arif believed in. Sending our love to his family and friends, he will be missed forever. Arip was a truly good person with a diverse and very interesting personality with so much to discover. He had a special humor as one could see in his tagline on social media. Coder, introvert, gruelingly boring. He wasn't an introvert when he worked on software. He shared his knowledge with the world openly and freely. He helped so many to learn how to use and develop technologies. He was an amazing person, a brilliant developer. I wanted to talk to him many times and ask him to change his tagline. I thought it wasn't just, it wasn't correct. That's not him. But I also thought this is his way and idea to show himself. So in the end, I never asked him to change it. Arip was a straightforward person, but respectful of people in his communication. And we communicated nearly every day in the last two years. And he was a fighter for free speech, privacy, justice, democracy. He didn't do it with big words. Sometimes he shared his views online, but mostly he tried to change the world more through his actions and his work in the open source and free software community. 
The memes and cartoons he shared often had a sarcastic touch. I believe this gave him strength to continue despite a lot of injustices that happened in his home country India and around him. Once he shared a photo of Modi with Shah Rukh and Amir Khan and wrote Best Actor of India with Shah Rukh and Amir Khan. It made me laugh. And at the same time, the laughter got stuck in my throat when I thought about politics in India. But this was the humor of Arib. Only today, I saw his post of his computer setup of last month. There was a lot of colorful blinking lights. He had many more sides to him that we will now never know. We we'll never have the chance to learn about it. He liked to learn about the universe, watch and read about science, nature and humanity. Besides all the scientific and political literature, he also liked a good love story and he liked Harry Potter books. While I never saw any attempt of him dancing, I know that he liked Indian music, Bollywood, Elvis Presley and Enrique Iglesias. His and mine tastes of music weren't so different, but we will never have the chance to enjoy them together now. When he was finally getting a passport after dealing with the bureaucracy in India, the pandemic made it impossible for us to meet again in Singapore. Last year we organized the Open Tech Summit India as a small event in Delhi and discussed plans there for the future. He was getting on board as a full-time developer with Force Asia and we discussed a lot of great ideas. Arib was too young to leave us. Arib had a strong dedication and understanding of so many things, of technology and logic. It was a once in a lifetime lucky chance to work with him. All he wanted was to do good. Arib, you are leaving a huge gap. We will miss you forever.